Some of you might have a fair bit of experience when it comes to managing hazards, and some may be new to this. Here, someone put your gloves on, mate. Oh, sorry, man. Every aspect of our work involves making assessments about health and safety, whether it is manual handling, working with plant and equipment, or any other aspect of your work, there are hazards we need to identify. HSE applies to all types of workplaces, from building sites to offices to factories. And no matter what the workplace is like, there'll be things we need to do, like wearing our safety equipment, following directions from our supervisors, and lifting items the right way so we don't hurt our backs. Also, there may be hazards we need to look out for, like plant and equipment in operation. The physical environment, including power poles, pits, underground infrastructure and overhead wires. Danger signs and tags placed on equipment that's not safe to use. So it's really important that we develop good HSE practices for all occasions. When it comes to hazards on site, there are a few things you need to do. Be on the lookout for potential hazards. Think about what could happen if the hazard is left the way it is. Do something to reduce the chances of someone getting hurt and check to make sure our changes are working. By doing these things well, we all make our site safer and there's less chance of someone getting hurt. For now, let's go through some basic HSE skills you'll need while you are working on the MBN, especially when it comes to working with optical fibre and what you'll need to do if there's an emergency.